Hello and welcome to my Astronomy Nights. In this video I'm looking at M104, the Sombrero Galaxy. The Sombrero Galaxy is located within the constellation of Virgo. At this time of year, just as night falls, Virgo is sitting pretty much due south. You can use Arcturus to locate Virgo, so just find the bright star Arcturus, then you'll see just below that the bright star of Spica, and they make up that triangle with Denebola and Leo. And then we'll look for the halfway point between Spica and Denebola, and this would be Gamma Virginis. So then Gamma Virginis, we're just going to drop down from there, and just below that you will see the little kind of a keystone asterism again similar to Hercules of Corvus the Sail. So we're going to use Delta Corvi Algorab to as our jumping off point to locate the Sombrero Galaxy. So by using Algorab we're going to look about two or three degrees just north of that and we're going to find the little arrow asterism which is literally going to point us in the direction of the Sombrero Galaxy. So this little arrow asterism is made up of a triangle and it has the little stargate asterism again at the head of that arrow. So by using the little stargate asterism, just move your eyepiece up along from each of these asterisms to the next and you'll find this little line, it's like a tiny little version of the arrow and that is pointing to the final spot of the Sombrero Galaxy. Uh, when I was locating it, I was using my finder scope and I could see that initial um, arrow asterism, but you couldn't see these smaller ones. They just look like, you know, fuzzy stars. So uh, you really have to use your eyepiece to see that stargate asterism and the smaller one again. But when you do use your eyepiece like that, you can hold all of these within the one field of view and you know that the Sombrero Galaxy is there. Is quite important because it's so faint you just have to use that little line of stars that are pointing towards it to know that you have it in the center of the frame and then you can run off your images and you can check them afterwards. Um, I recorded the, the live footage for this I was using I think it was four second frames on this one to get this footage but you can see there on the right hand side you have that little arrow of stars pointing towards the Sombrero Galaxy. Now it's, it's a really bright galaxy to pick up in the video but it's very hard to get that contrast with the background sky. You can see that I still have that light dome there and it, the sky isn't very dark. Quite excited to, to go for this target because like it's just one of those famous ones that you know from magazines and stuff and you're just wondering what would you see when you'd, when you'd actually get to observe it. So I used the 12 inch Dobsonian on this and I was observing it, um, it was last month that I got my observance session in because of the vantage point that I have from my observing site, it was, it was best placed and I used the 32 mil and the 60 mil any more power and I was just losing it in the background. So I was quite happy with the 32 mil, I used a lot of averted vision and I picked it up initially and then when I popped the 16 millimeter eyepiece in that's when I was actually able to see a little hint of that dust lane which was very nice to be able to actually see visually. All in all this is a great target to actually try it's not the most amazing visual target from where I am but it's really cool to be able to actually see and capture the Sombrero Galaxy. Thank you all for watching, it's really appreciated and I look forward to hearing about your observations in the comments below. See you all next weekend.